back to my channel. So today I'm doing a very real life Q&A with you guys. I don't have makeup on or if I do, it's probably from yesterday. Need to wash my face, got the mom messy bun going on. And our furnace has been making a massive like buzzing noise. And so if you hear it in the background, I'm really sorry. Um, but the girls are taking a nap right now. So I thought I would do sit down and answer the questions that you all have asked me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle somewhere here. Um, and that is where I asked you guys um, for questions to do another q and I know you all really liked the last video that I did. And it kind of helps me to know like what you guys want to know about me and all that kind of thing so I screenshotted all of your questions and I don't think I'll get through all of them today but I'm gonna get through as many as I possibly can and these are in absolutely no particular order first question is what made you switch from THM to keto just curious um first of all if you don't know what THM is it stands for trim healthy mama and um, it's kind of like a system where you eat fats one day and then you eat healthy carbs another day and or yeah that's the easiest way to explain it there's a whole entire book on it um, but the main reason, if you guys know what both of those are, I'm just going to answer the question for those of you that do. The main reason that I switched is because with keto, you eat a lot more fat and it makes it so you don't have to eat as often. On THM, you have to eat every three hours. Um, with keto, because you eat a lot of coconut oil and that sort of thing, you don't have to eat as often. So I mainly did it out of convenience. I honestly wouldn't say that I wouldn't go back to THM, but that's why I'm doing it right now. Okay, <laughs> this is a question. I get very often on my comments in my videos and that is everybody wants to know about my wedding ring and why I wear my wedding ring why I switch wedding rings that sort of thing so first I'll address why I wear my wedding ring plain and simple I'm still married I'm not divorced um and so in my opinion um, just for myself this is seriously my own opinion or my own preference um, is as long as I'm married, I will still wear my wedding ring. Second part to that question is why do you swap out your ring? So um, this is my wedding band, but because I do personal house cleaning and organizing for other people, and that's another question I get is what is my job, what's my occupation, I have a part-time job, that's what I do. Um, I'm working with my hands, I'm working in water, I'm working like doing a lot of different things. So I just prefer to wear silicone rings for that, um, for the sake of not messing up this ring. Um, so that answers those questions. The next question is, have you ever gone through postpartum depression after having one of your daughters? Um, I don't really think so. I definitely would say that I probably had, you know, the normal hormone swings that come with having a baby, but I don't really think that I ever went through true postpartum depression because I've had very dear friends of mine go through that and I know that it's a real thing and um, it's definitely something that is not fun to go through and that people should be really understanding to when somebody's going through that. Um, but my, me, myself, I would not say that I really went through anything like that. Someone would like to know if I would do a video on my favorite Grove products. Well, I actually recently did one and I'll leave the link below if you're a person that's wondering about that. Um, I did a my favorite cleaning products video and majority, not everything, but a majority of the things in that video are actually from Grove. And then um, the next question is how do you juggle being a vlogger, uh, making videos, and also being a mom of three little girls? It is insanely crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and there's a lot of days where I'm going, going, going all day and just getting a lot of stuff done. I, I do a lot of stuff while they're napping. So if you guys see cleaning videos where they're not in it, um, generally it's because I'm doing it while they're taking a nap. And also, once in a while, my mom does take them so that I can get some filming done. And then editing, I generally do after they go to bed at night. Somebody was asking how I'm celebrating Thanksgiving this year. And um, every year I host Thanksgiving at my house with my family. So 
that's what we'll be doing is having Thanksgiving here and then going Black Friday shopping. Another question I got was how much weight have you lost? And I actually am planning um, sometime beginning of January to do a video on my weight loss story and um, everything that I've done to lose weight and um, all of that. But in total, oh, I need to like kind of round some numbers off here. I would say I have lost probably 50 pounds um, since being my heaviest weight, which was after I had Kylia. Are my kids picky eaters? Yes and no. I don't know. <laughs> um, they go through phases, but I would say in general, like I know when I'm with a lot of other moms and they see what my kids are eating, they're like, oh my goodness, my kids would never eat that. Like my girls love lettuce. They love salads. Um, there is some things they're a little more picky about, like they're not big soup eaters. Um, I kind of have to encourage them to eat that sort of thing. But I would say in general, no. Somebody asked, what is something that you would suggest another single mama to do for self-care? I'm not entirely sure what this question is directed at, but I'll just say what the first thing that popped in my head when I read this, and that is just like, make sure that you have other women in your life that are strong and supportive of you. I think making sure you have good friends and relationships that um, encourage you to just keep being that awesome mom that you need to be for your little ones and um, especially if you work you know that's a huge thing is to juggle working and being a mom and being everything that you need for your little ones so I would suggest to have a good support system um, this was a question that was all together it's kind of two questions but how do you get enough sleep and how do you survive the stress of your life <laughs> well um, getting enough sleep, I um, generally on days where I'm vlogging and not doing my other job, we do sleep in. A lot of times I don't start the vlog until a little bit later. I am a night owl. I'm generally up editing pretty late. So um, another thing that I'll do, which I, th I think I've talked about in my vlogs before, is I do take naps every now and then to catch up on sleep. And then how do I survive the stress? <laughs> um, I talked about this in a vlog last week, um, but I do take a couple different supplements for stress uh, and I use essential oils and honestly the biggest thing for me is just relying on God and having faith that he is going to take care of me no matter what. Do I have any Christmas traditions that I do with the girls? Not a lot, but I am doing Vlogmas this year, which I'm so excited about. I have a lot of plans for it, and my brother is helping me with a really cute intro and all of that. Um, but one of the things I would say we do is I usually have them open their stockings on Christmas Eve, and I like to give them PJs on Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day we do like breakfast and all all of that like a special breakfast of some kind so I don't know you guys will have to wait and see how our Christmas day goes this year this person had asked two questions one of them I already answered what is your part-time job and what is your favorite DIY project I already answered the part-time job and my favorite DIY project this question actually popped up on my last Q&A um, but it's the clock in my dining room it is my my grand it's a grandfather clock and my grandfather actually built it um, it broke it, the mechanisms and everything didn't work so I I took them all out and I put the shelving in and painted it and it's probably one of my most treasured possessions. What is your skincare regimen? What and what makeup, if any, do you use? Um, I will be doing a video at some point about this. The skincare stuff that I use is actually from Grove. It's a brand called Seed. So if you guys want to look that up on there, I really, really like them. And one thing I will say about my skin is that I have crazy sensitive skin crazy sensitive skin um it is like like if i wash my hands with the wrong hand soap i can break out on my hands and i just have very sensitive skin so like a lot of times if i try a face product it generally burns or itches or something like that so that's why i would highly highly recommend that skincare product from grove and i'll leave a link below um that you guys can find out more about grove 
but that I love that stuff and then as far as makeup um, I generally just use whatever <laughs> I don't have like any special kind of makeup that I like to use and on a daily basis I wear usually just concealer and mascara this question I thought was kind of interesting um, it says you probably don't have video footage but can you tell us about the decorating style and your first home so um my first place on my own was actually really cool. It was a apartment that was in an old uh, t-shirt factory. So it had like really high windows. It was kind of like a studio apartment. Uh, sorry if the lighting keeps getting dimmer and dimmer. It's like half snowing outside. Um, but anyways, it was kind of like a studio apartment. It had hardwood floors. It was really, really cute. I loved it. And my style was like, um, I don't know. I just, I like very, very minimalistic style I always have um, I wasn't quite into the whole like farmhouse white looking stuff yet but um, I had you know I did my own paintings I had some canvases that were my own um, like shaggy rugs just kind of like that first apartment feel I feel like it was very like down the friends line of things <laughs> you know just looking like uh, uh your first apartment and then somebody wanted to know what mascara i wear i will try to find it and link it below it was something like from walmart or drugstore or something like that I actually really need to get some new mascara it's kind of that time um to change it out but i can't even remember the name right now have you ever thought about finding a pet for your girls i am not an animal person at all um when i was younger i had a horse and I have had some dogs, but I'm just, it's not my nature to like be drawn to animals really. Um, but if they asked for it, maybe I have no idea. Um, we do have a dog, but it's with Corey. Um, and he is an outside dog. We live on a farm and he loves being outside and, um, but yeah, like I said, he doesn't live here with me. Is there anywhere else in the U S that you would want to live outside of PA and why? Um, I probably would gravitate to like southern, um, like the southeast side of, of this country, um, just because of it being warmer. I don't like being cold. I talked about this in my last Q&A and a lot of you guys gave me so much information on it and I can't even think of the name right now, but I have kind of like a uh, allergy to cold. If I get really cold, um, I tend to break out in hives, like if I swim in a cold pool or um, like if I have my hand against even like my de desk upstairs, it's an antique desk and it's a metal top and sometimes when I'm editing, if the room is kind of cold and the metal's cold I'll break out in hives like just in the spot that it was sitting on so probably anywhere that would be warmer than here just because I'm more comfortable that way why do I like the color white well I love the farmhouse style of decorating and when I say that I say more the modern farmhouse style if you guys go on Pinterest and you search that if you've never heard of it before you'll see why it all just looks you know goes together but why I really like it is because I love things that are very minimalistic I love things that look clean I like even if it takes me a little more work to wipe things up after my kids go over them I like the just clean simple look and I find that it's a lot less stressful on your mind to have things that are simple looking instead of a lot of clutter and just yeah, that's just what I like. Am I planning on buying the house you that I'm living in now? Um, no. Um, this house actually has some different issues. Uh, just stuff that would really need to be fixed on it. Not only that, but I don't really think that my um, landlords would be interested in buying it. Because, I mean, in, in selling it. Because it's a part of their farm. So, um, as far as where I'll buy some would it, someday, I really don't know. But, um, for now, we'll just keep living here and love it here. What software do you use to edit? I use Final Cut Pro. Um, which is a Apple Mac software. And I love it. And somebody was telling me the other day that the link that I have generally linked in the description box for my editing systems um, wasn't working so I need to double check that but that is what I use is Final Cut Pro. Would you be willing to do a video about how you budget? And yes actually um, I am going to be doing one the beginning of January so you'll have to keep an eye out for that. Did you go to college? No I actually have not um, went to college. 
I never really had a huge draw to go to college just because I wanted to be a mom and I didn't really want student loans whenever I knew that I probably wouldn't end up using whatever I went to college for. It was just my mindset behind it and um, I have my own business now and I have, you know, been able to create an income and be a business owner without going to college, which I think is really cool. And there's a lot of very big successful business people out there that never went to college. Although I will say that I have, I mean, college is very important. We need doctors. We need all of those people in our world, but you do you, I'll do me. Then the last question is, is what keeps you motivated in such time times of trial? And I'll just say that um, knowing that my girls need me is probably one of the biggest things. And just knowing that God has a greater purpose for me than what's going on around me right now. And I think that's one of the biggest things is like, don't get distracted by your trials and the things that are going on around you because generally those things are to pull you away from whatever God is trying to do in your life and whatever he's trying to guide you in. And, um... Yeah, that would probably be my biggest biggest thing is to stay focused on what God's plan is for me. And then there was a lot of questions about Corey and, you know, things going on with him, what's going on with him and all of that. And I know I mentioned this not that long ago in a video, but a lot of things are pretty much the same. I know people were wondering, you know, what his interaction is with the girls and all of that. And he does have days that he sees them and um, we're back and forth with him and that sort of thing but a lot of things are pretty much the same um, and if things you know ever are changing or stuff is going on I will share that as I see fit it's not something that I'll be constantly talking about um, but as of right now God is on my side and I know that he is supporting me through all of this. I'm seeing him work in many, many ways in my life. I'm just really thankful for that. And I'm so thankful for this outlet, um, just, cre just as a creative outlet and something that is so fun for me to do. I love doing YouTube and I love interacting with you guys and your encouragement and prayers and all of that has been so huge for me, has meant so much to me. Well guys, that's all the questions I have for this time. I'll definitely be doing more of these because I know that you all really enjoy these kind of videos and like I said if you don't already follow me on Instagram that's generally where I ask if you guys have any questions for Q&A videos so go ahead and do that and if you guys are new to my channel hello and welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a like for me and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video